Hi Best Fiends fans, it's Natalia here again from the channel Cookielicious NZ. Today I'm going to show you how to make Fiesta Mousse from the latest update. What you will need for this project is some sugar cookies that have been cut out using a printed template. I will have a link in the description box below for you to create these templates and all you need to do is print and cut the shape of mousse using a sharp knife or an exacto knife. I also have um, a cut out of a few different sections of Fiesta Mousse and this will make it easier to decorate the cookie later. I'll be using this edible marker to mark guidelines on my cookies and they're food safe as well as a scribe tool. This needle tool is to smooth out my icing and help shape the icing around the cookies. These are my royal icing that I have prepared earlier with the colors that you'll need. You'll find the royal icing recipe in the description box below. Okay, so let's get started on the decorating process. Use an edible marker to create guidelines using the little templates that I showed you earlier. Now these guidelines will make it easier when it comes time to put the icing on the cookies later. On some part of it is easy enough to draw the lines manually to connect the guides and after you mark it using the templates. Continue to draw the sections on his face such as his mouth and his eyes. And then you can follow that by drawing the sections on his clothes. Okay, so now it's time to start putting icing on the cookie. Pipe an outline consistency brown color icing onto his eyebrow and then fill it with the same color of medium consistency icing. And then continue by outlining his mouth area with the same brown icing. Then fill that area with the medium consistency icing of the same color. Now use the red icing to fill the top part of his sombrero and the section on his poncho. Just to let you know that if I don't mention the type of icing consistency that I'm using, that just means that I'm using a medium consistency icing. This will just help make it easier to explain the process without repeating myself. Okay, now fill the bottom part of his sombrero with caramel color icing and then let the icing crust over. Continue with the same caramel color icing to fill up the top of his sombrero as well as the middle section of the sombrero. Use the scribe tool if needed to shape the icing. Then continue to fill one of the eye with white icing. Now we have to create the designs on his poncho. Start by filling the top section with maroon color icing and while the icing is still wet, Pipe a thin line of white followed by yellow icing and repeat the same steps for the remaining section on his poncho. Continue to fill the side of the poncho with the same maroon color icing then fill his teeth with white icing. Now be very careful when filling in those little sections. Um, it is very useful to use a scribe tool to help move the icing into the corners. So the next step is to fill his other eye with white icing and also fill his horn with grey icing. Then let the icing crust over. After the horn is crusted, then add the little horn on the side of the long ones that we've just created. Then fill the little gap between his eyebrows and the little section underneath his sombrero with black icing. Now to create his eyes, pipe black icing and while the icing is still wet, add a dot of white icing on top. Then use a black outline consistency icing to create his hands. For his shoes, we need to pipe black outline consistency icing first and then we'll fill it with medium consistency black icing. Use a scribe tool to shape the icing if needed and then let the icing dry. Now we need to add details to his sombrero. Start by piping little dots on the top rim of his sombrero. Use an outline consistency caramel color icing for this. Then start adding the little hanging pom-poms by piping the little lines first and then add the little pom-poms at the ends of each line. Use outline consistency to create the pom-poms and remember you can also use your scribe tool at the end to smooth out the icing if needed. To create the little patterns on his poncho, use a red edible marker to draw the patterns on. 
And lastly, use a caramel color outline consistency icing to create the tassels at the bottom of his poncho. So there you have it. Isn't he adorable? Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it, you know the drill. Leave a thumbs up below and subscribe to Best Fins for more fun videos like this. And if you want to see more of my cookie tutorials, then head over to my channel at Cookielicious NZ. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you next time.